Super Doppler 7 weather. Sadly, though, with the air conditioning running, will we even notice that rebate? Then, That's just it. <laughs> yeah, hot lately. It's about 95 yesterday. We'll be back up there again today. Now, we are showering thunderstorm free from uh, the Burn Leo Rio Rancho. Albuquerque area points to the south. We do have a little bit of uh, early morning shower and thunderstorm activity, though, across the northern third of New Mexico. Some of those early morning thunderstorms have crept as far south as about Hamas Springs and the San Ysidro area. You see just a little bit of that rain crossing 550. Now, this particular cluster of Thunderstorms is moving to the south and west. Will it hit you in Rio Rancho and Bernalillo? Probably not, but you may be uh, seeing those flashes of lightning off in the distant sky there if you look north and west. Uh, look at the lightning bolts right now in south central and southwestern San Juan County. And we do have early morning rain showers weakening in Rio Ariba County. Uh, some of the downpours around Towson over the Sangre de Cristos are fairly heavy here, and we expect more showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon in the very same area. So we're kind of priming the pump, getting the ground wet, and uh, it does look like we'll have to watch that area closely for some. Flooding issues this afternoon. It's 50s and 60s where you're getting rain down. We're in the low 70s around Albuquerque and also in Berlin. And in that 65 to about 72 or 73 degree range across most of southern New Mexico. Remember yesterday we watched that dry air wrap itself all the way around this uh, monsoon circulation here. And right now that dry air is hanging out in central and southern New Mexico, really kind of cutting down the storm chances. But this weather system dropping south in the northwesterly flow, it'll re excite skies over far northern New Mexico. And uh, it's just going to spread the storms around the state with uh, more authority tomorrow. But today, uh, we're really just focused on the northern part of the state for those afternoon storm chances. And you can see the computer model forecast uh, does suggest that the downpours, well, they could be a bit heavy with those dark shades of green in Rio Reba County and Taos County this afternoon. So those are the areas probably most prone for some high water issues. Also, a pretty good chance for storms around Cimarron and Raton later on this afternoon. Now, look ahead here towards our Thursday afternoon. A lot more of us get in on the storm chances. Maybe not still the southern third of New Mexico, you may have to wait until Friday, but the wet weather is going to be on the increase over the next few afternoons. Let's talk temperatures out there. Now, northern New Mexico, after your morning showers and storms, we do expect a midday lull before the afternoon storms kick in, and there will be time to warm to like 89 degrees in Los Alamos and 88 in Santa Fe. And we're talking upper 90s for Espanola. Farmington back up to 97 this afternoon. You have just been cooking in the summertime heat, and today it doesn't ease. Upper 90s from Roswell down to Carlsbad, and we're real close to 100 degrees around the yellow. In Butte and also that I 10 corridor for Lordsburg and Deming. So, folks, this is going to be another very hot day of weather. Albuquerque back up at 95, Rio Rancho, one hotter. And yes, Santa Fe, the East Mountain community is just shy of 90 degrees. Now, in Albuquerque, the storms probably stay away. Slight chance overnight. Better chance for the scattered storms tomorrow. And Friday is probably looking like the rainiest day of the next several. Uh, we're seeing signs right now that Saturday the 4th could be just a little bit wetter than we originally expected. Storm chances trending down, though, for Sunday and Monday, just those slight chances. And then probably on the uptick again for the middle of next week. Todd, Marissa. Well, New Mexico.